if you believe in uh, miracles happening and sauna also is one one big miracle <laughs> So we are on the forest floor. Oh. The toilet is outside. from Latvia. My sister and I, we are here to have a digital detox. So yesterday we flew into Riga airport, then we got some snacks, then we drove a little bit and then we had dinner at a local restaurant. And then we sort of drove the last two hours to this beautiful place, which is right on the border of Estonia. I actually believe that behind this lake, there is Estonia, which is super cool. And we now have found our wooden house here for the next few days. There's no electricity, there's no running water, and obviously there is no internet so yeah we're super excited to see how it goes last night we sort of you know just put our suitcases down and went to bed and now this morning we've already you know started to make a fire which wasn't that easy and now we're starting to boil water Romina is inside preparing the breakfast and here is just a little bit of an overview of our house so we've got the living room downstairs and then the bedroom upstairs and the views are just insane and this is obviously what the house looks like from the outside and now let me go inside and let's have our first breakfast with no distractions at all. Here she is. Hey. Oh, and the fire is burning. Yes. Okay, hello. I do look like a tourist to be fair, but that's fine. Um, we are ready for a hike and we've just, uh, before we go, we've just come to the, um, gosh, I don't even know what this is called. The place where you can go inside the water and we've had a look at our little boat and to be honest with you, <laughs> we're not really sure if we're going to take it out because it's like this. <laughs> it's like loads of water inside and it kind of looks more like a floating, um, what did you say earlier? Like a cask? Oh, I don't know uh, the. An, an, uh, not sure, no. Like a like a like cask, a, like a cask, like a floating cask. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So I mean, we might. You you will see. But um, when and if you come here to let you know, there is a, a boat for you to potentially take out. <laughs> update it's been super fun so far and one of the most fun things about this hike is the fact that i am in latvia right now and romina is in estonia <laughs> so part of the hike is you or has you crossing the border between latvia and estonia for a bit and it's really fun so you kind of walk across this bridge here and then you obviously reach over there they told us to bring our passports we didn't need them as of yet when and if you do it maybe do bring your passport just in case but yeah i mean it's pretty much in the middle of nowhere so i would be surprised if there is someone here but better safe than sorry so yeah we're gonna trek in estonia for a bit now We are back from our trek, not hike really, it was mostly straight. So we kind of, you know, came back, came back this, so we kind of came back this way. And yeah, now we're back here, Romina's over there. It's kind of warm, but then not. So basically the, the temperature is literally maybe like 20 degrees, but the wind kind of makes it a little bit colder today, but it's fine, no problem. We've got some layers. I did want to show you our outdoor fireplace though. So it is here. And basically what's gonna to happen today later is that a local nature cook slash food influencer is gonna to come to our hut and is gonna cook with us some sort of foraged dish. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're gonna go and find something with him or if he brings the ingredients and just sort of teaches us how to cook in nature with fire because we could really uh, use that. <laughs> so yeah, stay tuned for that. Super excited. For now, we're just gonna relax on the porch and maybe 
attempt the boat again, although I don't, I'm, I'm not actually sure. <laughs> we'll see. Actually, ignore, I haven't showed you the toilet, okay? And uh, <laughs> I feel like this is something very interesting. <laughs> so here we are, the toilet is outside. So our hut is over there. And then obviously the toilet is here. It's not much to know about it really. So let me show you. Essentially, you just come up here and then you've got a little lock you know it depends on how many people obviously you have here so you may, may want to lock it and then <laughs> once you look inside it is there i mean i'm not going to open it but it's like essentially a a toilet where everything just goes like a like a hole yeah but it has a <laughs> has an actual seat which is great and it does have toilet paper and it does have a bin there so you know it's everything you need actually because it's of this kind of the the way it's built the wooden way it's also fairly warm in there so even if you need to even if you need to go at night it's pretty pretty nice and then this is our sink <laughs> yeah. this is our sink so you kind of push this up and then you can wash your hands after you've been on the toilet so useful simple i would say but all we really need and um yeah that's really now it so i'll see you when the food influencer comes It's now, I think, 7 p.m. and look who we're with. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Do you want to actually introduce yourself? So yes, this is Ren yes. Renas from Latvia. And you are, what do you do? Wait, I'll come, I'll come around. Give a little so, intro. Uh, so I'm an uh, outdoor chef. This, yes. is, this is what I do. I go outdoors and, and cook. Amazing. And uh, I gather something. I take from the market. I cook something for, yeah. uh, like, for example, sourdough bread. And then we come into the nature and cook here. And as you can see here, we've already got a bit of a table with some uh, ingredients laid out. So everything is fresh. And um, like you said, local, we've got bread. I think this is cabbage, right? Yeah, yeah, two kinds of cabbage. Uh, cabbages. Then we've got some uh, strawberries here and also some rhubarb and the biggest garlic I have ever seen in my life. Like <laughs> it's literally the size of my head, but that just means it'll taste super fresh. So uh, yeah, we're ready and obviously we're taking you guys along. Let's go. Okay, so we are on the forest floor. We are just gathering our first ingredient. There's also a lot of flies here, but no, not flies, mosquitoes, but it doesn't matter. We're actually um, kind of collecting these. To me, they look like clover, but I'm sure they're not. And Renal said we're gonna make pesto from it, which is just so cool. So this is uh, wild sorrel. In Latvian, if you translate directly, it's a rabbit cabbage, zaitkapos. Uh, and it came from uh, some legend or story, what we can tell, is that a uh, rabbit went to the, to the market and he was uh, interested in a sauerkraut seeds. And everybody was laughing about them, <laughs> uh, about him. And, and the farmer just uh, swept something on the floor. He went to the forest and, and seeded. And this is like a, everything was left over from the market seed. So uh, rabbit cabbage. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Let's get some more rabbit cabbage. Does it taste like heaven? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Do you like good. it? The yeah, 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 I like it. Okay, it is time. What are we doing now? Say it. <laughs> so we're doing a traditional Latvian sauna, which is an experience that they offer here in the region and we thought it would fit quite well with our sort of detox theme. We've just read the description and um, it basically is you, you're going into like a sort of traditional sauna room, which looks uh, similar to how we would be used to it. And then uh, somebody comes and will use some branches on us and kind of softly moves them across our body. And there might be some other things to experience. It's a very traditional, very important thing for us to do whilst we are here. So we are excited, but also 
a little bit apprehensive just because we don't know what's gonna happen and obviously also I'm gonna show you guys what's gonna go down um, so filming and sauna is always a little bit difficult because it's very hot but I will try to capture as much as I can and uh, yeah it's a 15 minute drive feels a bit odd driving the car whilst we are here because we're supposed to de disconnect but it's fine still feel disconnected <laughs> so yeah let's go I uh, explain about these first steps mm -hmm. when you come in sauna. Uh, when you open the doors, what do you say? Oh, the I sauna. Don't you don't know? No. <laughs> no. Hello, sauna. Or we say, Sveika Mila Pirtinya. Oh. This is like, uh, here live a sauna, sauna spirit. Oh. Interesting, sauna spirit. You can see, you can see. These people so can see, who can feel, but you need to say hello if you believe in uh, miracles happening. And sauna also is one, one big miracle. sauna moment I just thought uh, whilst I'm cooking here I'll show you actually what I'm cooking uh, also there's a random dog here where is it oh where is it oh it's over there uh, we don't really know who it belongs to but it has arrived but anyway I'm, uh, I'm making a salad um, we didn't forage these <laughs> like this is what we bought but you know still having a salad and then we're also gonna make some pasta and um, yeah whilst I'm cooking I thought I'd give you a little overview obviously you saw what you saw but just a little bit of a fresh how we feel after I would say mellowed out is probably the best way to describe how we feel right now it was honestly so much more than we expected like um, it went on for three hours or four even and um, yeah, it just kept on giving. It was this whipping, that whipping, then it was honey, then it was the salt, <laughs> the salt thing. And it was like, honestly, for me, um, the moment where I kind of maybe fully understood, not fully, but understood this country more, like understood Latvian people more, um, or sort of to the next level, maybe. Because obviously we met Renas yesterday and he was also like a real, um, nature boy but i kind of almost thought okay so that's his job right but then now obviously we met the lovely lady from the sauna and also her she was such a like such a nature girl and so oh, i'm just watching romina <laughs> the dog the dog has gone in the leg and he's got a stick um yeah she was such a nature girl she was so much in touch with nature obviously you heard everything she said so really latvian people are in touch with nature to a whole new level. Latvian people are in touch with nature to a whole new level. Uh, to a level that I've never really experienced and to a level where I feel like I can learn a lot from it as well. Yep, so that's kind of what I got from it. And now we're gonna make some food. We'll show you a little bit of it. See if we can sort of hone any skills that we learned yesterday so far. The fire making is going well. If we didn't have a wet dog right next to us, uh, that would be maybe a bit easier. As long as he doesn't shake next to the fire, we're fine. <laughs> Okay, good morning. I do think that the sun comes up at like, what, 4 a.m. or something? Mm. It's crazy. So there's literally so much light here. It does actually feel like we're a lot further up north than we really are. Because if you look at the map, we're sort of on the same level as maybe Scotland. But there is just, it feels like there is more, more light. I don't know if there actually is. Because obviously the sun goes down at 9.30, but you have light until like midnight, one or so, which is super nice. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick update on how I've actually been sleeping. So obviously I had my um, 
my amazing sleeping bag here that I got from Amazon because believe it or not I call myself a travel blogger and I didn't actually have a sleeping bag <laughs> so I bought one from Amazon like a cheap one and um, it's done me well they've got obviously all these mattresses here which I'm sure you've seen in the beginning of the video and um, it's pretty comfortable it's very cozy we always leave the fire on in the evening before going to bed and um, I would say I don't sleep as well as I maybe would at home or in a hotel bed, but that is only because of the sleeping bag. <laughs> I don't think it's because of the location, because obviously it's absolutely quiet. We normally fall asleep to the sound of the fire crackling, which is lovely, and then obviously we let it go out overnight, because um, yeah, it's gonna get too hot otherwise. But sleeping, I would give it a 8.5 out of 10, which for me is pretty good. And um, yeah. Now I'm going to go outside and enjoy the fresh air and make some hot water, which we all know does take about an hour, but it also, well, you obviously light the fire and then you wait for the kettle to boil on top, but it does make you appreciate what we have. But also after our third night here now, so this is our third morning, you just kind of get used to it and it's sort of part of it. And, you know, having the hot water just feels even more special. So let's do that. Hello. <laughs> Okay, we are in the car, hello, Hi. on our way to Riga and we finished our digital detox here and the summary is that we feel detoxed, yes. I would say, but also I would say 50% of that is the sauna it's amazing <laughs> so do when, when you come here make sure you also do the sauna uh, if you're ready for a sort of semi extreme uh, not extreme but like you know kind of next level detox nature adventure we are now uh, going to Riga like I said and if you want to see any Riga content check out my Instagram because it will all be there thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon bye bye